Hi everyone, it's Jen Cochran from Jack's Beanstalks and today I am going to show you some paper piecing um, using some background paper that I made in my last video and my last video was the Spectrum Aqua Techniques video and you can find it here uh, on YouTube underneath the Spectrum Aqua playlist. All right, what I've done is I have inked up my stamp with a little bit of stays on ink. And all I'm gonna do is try and center the dress in an area where I like what the background looks like because that's all I'm going to be cutting out is this dress. But first off, what I wanna do is I'm gonna color up my stamp. Um, I'm gonna show you here in fast motion and I'm actually gonna set it to some music for you, but I'm gonna show you here how I colored up my stamp. And my stamp's from SP and Company Stamps. So enjoy the music while I'm coloring. All right, I'm just finishing up um, adding a few touches here, putting some shoes and lace and a belt on her um, and adding the coloring to her uh, little legs. Um, you could do them like I've done them as bare skin or you can give the effect of her having maybe some nylons on. All right, now I'm going to cut out my little dress that I stamped at the beginning of the video for you. And I'm just using um, a pair of Cutter B scissors. And I'm just gonna go through and get as close to my stamp line as I possibly can. And then we are going to take this little itty bitty piece of paper and actually um, lay it down onto our colored stamp, our colored image. And this is going to create the look of having um, a different colored skirt on the kind of almost a marbling effect. That's how that background was. And I decided to go ahead and do a little bit of a gold top. Um, 
So I'm going to just use some adhesive here and lay down the little paper pieced um, piece that we cut out. And that's what she looks like, all paper pieced and colored up. All right, the next thing I've done here is I've taken a die and cut out a tab. And I'm going to take a sentiment. And it's a one long sentiment. And it says, Happy Singles Day. But what I want to do is I want to stack it. So I'm only going to ink part of my sentiment and stamp the very, very top of that little tab. And then I'm going to come back, clean off my stamp, and then just ink that second half that says Singles Day. And that's one nice thing with clear stamps is you can really line that up and, and make it look the way you want to. Um, I've used an embossing folder, the Chevron Embossalicious embossing folder from Crafters Companion. And I went ahead and embossed my um, my one layer there and then I did a doily and I'm just using some adhesive to um, stick my doily down and then I'm going to cut the excess off. While I finish putting this card together I'm going to play some more music for you so uh, sit back and enjoy and take some notes so that you could make this card for yourself. Alright, we're almost finished with our card here, just repositioning our little image and I'm going to go in and add this bow with a little bit of clear adhesive and that wraps up our card. Um, thank you so much for joining me today here at Spectrum Noir and I hope that you will head on back over to my Spectrum Aqua Techniques video. Again, it's found underneath the Spectrum Aqua playlist here on YouTube. Um, and don't forget, hey, give us a thumbs up. We really enjoy uh, doing these videos for you and we hope that you'll return. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.